All right, YouTube, welcome back to Before You Pull. Liud is getting an FR and a slight rework, and I'm here to talk about him and the people on his banner, including Ami Italian and Zell. Before we get started, though, go ahead and like the video, uh, leave a comment with your thoughts on the character. Let me hear your reductionist take for Liud. I'm going to call him a, uh, a ra he's basically a, a Ramza Kane. Who else has wings in this game? Uh, Renoa, he, he's, bas he's basically a combination of Renoa, uh, Ramza and Kane, right? Uh, while, <laughs> while you're down in the comments being an idiot, uh, <laughs> like, like the video, uh, ring the bell so you don't miss the video, uh, and, uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Liud, if you're not familiar with his kit, he is a range support. Uh, he deal deals range type damage, uh, he heals, he batteries the party, and he's got massive party buffs, like, 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 I, I think back then we, we called it BT level auras. He doesn't, he has some HP cap on his armor, obviously, but then he's given like what 110% attack, uh, crazy amounts. So I think it's like 40% HP damage up, something crazy like that. So it's, it's basically he can solo support. He's got, he's got a bunch of buffs on one and he builds up over time with his uh, C90 rework and his, uh, his actual rework. Uh, he's getting more damage on some of his skills and, uh, that's about it. Um, he manages his own HP, he sacrifices his HP to battery the party and, and increases buffs. And after using his uh, EX, he charges, is it his EX? I've actually completely forgotten. I'm pretty sure after he uses his EX, he charges everyone else. It's either using his LD or his EX. Anyways, he can charge the party's EX, damn it. <laughs> um, and so yeah, that's, that's pretty much what he's there to do. He's to just stand there and then make everybody hit hard. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. His numbers make uh, theory crafters pretty much just jerk themselves off. Uh, so his FR condition is pretty simple, quite generic. Uh, it's 40% after a party member acts. These are both on turn conditions. Um, you need an, you need to act with an overhead or a stacked buff. So stack buff, think what Gladio and he has a stack buffs that go up to 10 Any anything that has stacks on it, uh, if a turn passes and they, ha the party member has that, uh, 40% easy. Uh, and 20% if they heal after on their action. So uh, Liu has HP regen for the party, so this is free. And this condition overall is pretty free. M a lot of characters in the game either have an overhead, and when I say overhead, I mean think, um, what's someone recent with an overhead? Uh, Bart, you know, he's that stupid feather thing over his head? Uh, that, that counts as an overhead. A lot of characters have stacks and or overhead, so this is pretty easy to hit, and, um, you could just bring characters like that, like, like Barrett. Uh, <laughs> or you could, uh, this is something I recently learned. You can hit the Rydia LD call, and because that buff has stacks on it, this makes everyone hit the condition regardless, as long as the stacks don't go down. That's handy as well. So it's a pretty universal 60% FR, which is which is cool. So you got a very strong support, and you got a 60% 60 60 turn FR. So evaluation-wise, he's kind of just an all-in-one support. I mean, he doesn't do everything, everything. That's more Ramza style. But he does a lot of good things. Battery, heals charges EX on a button that will remain unknown. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments. Uh, thank you. Uh, and <laughs> it'll be easy to find out anyways. Um, but you know, one take. Uh, he's got the semi-generic FR only. It's, I'm calling it semi because while it's not truly generic like Aroha, like Aroha's conditions are free for 50%. And while you gotta think slightly more with his conditions, unless you bring a radio call, then it is something to think about. But otherwise, um, He's not elemental, so you know, uh, we got three months of lockouts, uh, in inter intermittent lockouts of ev roughly every other fight happening, um, and Lude will not be affected by that because he doesn't bring any elements to the table. Uh, Weakness-wise, his damage is unfortunately still kinda low, so let's see. I think his EX is four, I think his EX and LD have four HP attacks, and then skill one and two have three HP attacks. That's not great. Um, while you could argue that he's bringing buffs that justify his lack of damage um and i don't think it's a it's a great it, it hurts to have him on the field more so because he's not contributing as much during force time unless someone's turn hogging it, for example um he is a master of none and while like he does have the ex recharge niche that is i don't think that's nearly as good as it used to be uh, like when when Liu first came out, we compare him with nukes such as like Noel and Strago, and I can't think of anyone else right now. But right now, um, it's it's a very niche use case, and it's not as easy to justify. Um, it's I, th I think the, the biggest thing about Liu is like while he's like as solid is the word, but I also say just unremarkable in general. Like he'll get the job done. Uh, but he, he excels, he, he does fine in a lot of areas, but he doesn't like stand out in anything. 
I'd say personally, because um, I think at the the buff numbers, and I think I said this back when he released too. I think there's like diminishing returns on his stuff, especially when we have Ultima weapons in the mix, and now we have BT weapons in the mix and FRs uh, scaling our damage to the to the moon. I think uh, he's not as as justified. But moving on, Ami Detalian. Uh, finally getting a C90, one of the last. Actually, that's kind of everyone else getting a C90 from here on out. C90 is over next month, I believe. Uh, magic debuffer uh, with some supporting capabilities. Uh, Ami Detalian, uh, when they first premiered, uh, brought the turn delete mechanic to the game. Ami's skill one is an AoE delete, and skill two is a single target delete. Uh, and there's a lot of these. Um, Zidane is now the best turn deleter, I think, but Ami was the OG. Uh, while also providing some support capabilities, battery the party, etc. Uh, multiple frame debuffs, which are annoying. Um, Ami LD call is famously used to send bosses backwards. Uh, and there's like speed down and turn rate down on Ami's debuff. So that helps the bosses not get turns on top of the deletes that are constantly happening. Um, Ami's rework, just boring more damage. I think Ami ended up with like, what, four HP attacks on skills at most. Um, damage isn't great. And um, honestly, I think turn delete is not as powerful as it used to be in the Lufeni era because we used to get punished for giving the bosses turns because the orb would go down on their turns. Nowadays, we kind of want, it's either uh, we're blowing the bosses up on our turns or we're letting them act and letting them get beat up by our counter and off turn attacks. And I don't think the deletes plus Ami's low damage quite justify themselves. So you're not, uh, uh, maybe next time Ami. And last time we have, well, last time, last character, we have Zell in the mix. Uh, he's a melee and range damage dealer. Um, he's got consecutive and free turns. His skills transform into different abilities and you can loop some fun stuff together. He can rebreak uh, with his LD buff active. Why do I have launch on there? I don't know why I have that on there, but that definitely shouldn't be there. But you know, one take. Uh, I think this was the knock this slide and I didn't take that part off. Whoops. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, Zell does not launch, but uh he his damage he hasn't gotten an update since liu first released like eight months ago so his damage is just completely crept um it's hard to just find him a team nowadays just because again shinryu does not favor turn hoggers at the moment unless they're driving something specific and you got a lot of bunch of things in the background so um yeah zell zell not in a great spot either unfortunately so overall before you pull for liu what do i think Give my opinion real quick. Uh, again, if you love your character and you know what you want to do, don't let me dissuade you. Do what you gotta. I don't really care, to be honest, but this is a more objective take, at least I try to, uh, for people on the fence. Um, if you're looking for reruns, look on ffotep.com and Tom Bray Troop to try and figure out when things come back. Uh, and Liu has not come back. So initially going into this banner, I'm like, mm, maybe I would if I didn't get Tifa's BT uh, on her banner, but I did. And I'm like, oh, you know, uh, I have a Roha, but I don't want to use her because I used her in JP. So maybe Liud would be a decent generic, but his damage really just isn't great. And I think I could probably justify other FRs in his place. I, ha I have a decent amount. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite feeling, I mean, I'm kind of on the fence. Maybe I'll throw some tickets, but I don't really think I want to chase them. I don't have Zell's gear, but what's the point of collect? I... My, I have a mindset of, oh, let me collect these things so I don't miss them. But Zell reruns so frequently that there's not really much point to chasing him here. And I, I'm, I'm thinking, like, what I usually use, I think, uh, what's your name? Like, we got Hope as a generic FR next month uh, that I'd much rather pull for. Um, and we got set the month after that. And would I be good on content until then? Like, would I really enjoy this literal who? I don't think so. <laughs> I think I think the novelty would get really old quickly. So I'm overall passing and I make that same recommendation to everyone else. This banner is kind of crappy to be honest. Uh, Zell's power crept, uh, Ami sucks, and uh, Liu, he's got a good generic FR and he's got a good uh, support kit. But if you're if you're playing for a decent amount of time, you probably already have supports filled out. And I don't think Liu's bringing anything to the table um, besides a generic condition at least when Aroha came out like she was like the first generic but like we're getting better and better FRs now and I think I think it's harder to justify Liud. I think Aroha's actually got a better kit than Liud, to be honest so I don't know so I wouldn't recommend anyone touch this banner honestly <laughs> unless you're new which is, in which case you're pulling on everything but you should be getting Tifa first um that's all I got uh, let me know what you guys think uh again let me hear your reduction just take like the video comment subscribe hit the bell and I'll catch you guys in the next video all right Peace.